Hey everybody, it's Paul from Vaughn Velo. Uh, got a new bike put together here, Surly Karate Monkey. This is the latest and greatest. The salmon peach Sunday color. And I'm gonna go over a few items here on what I built it with. So I went ahead and built it up as a single speed. And I used some of the uh, tasty components from the Endless Bike Company. Got a 3020 on there. That's a direct mount SRAM chain ring and a kick-ass cog in the back. If you look carefully down there, it's nice and thick to keep uh, the HG Shimano Freehub body nice and happy. Went with the Bontrager line carbon 30 wheels. They are super light and feel great. And for the cranks, went with the SRAM X01. Tried to keep things as light as I could. Got a Bontrager XXX post. A Versa Comp seat. Not entirely convinced on that one, but we'll test it out and see how it goes. Got some Bontrager grips. Renthal fat bar. This is the light version. Feels good. Got a XT brakes, XT rotors, they stopped just fine. And I went with the King Creek headset, nothing too fancy there, just works. Bond trigger stem, and a K-Edge mount for my Garmin 830. It's just solid, they just work, good stuff. Uh, let's see, what else, uh, we've got the Bond trigger cages. You notice a lot of Bontrager stuff on here. I work at a Trek shop, so that's uh, helpful. I left the left the stem or the steer tube a little high, since uh, I'm not exactly sure where I want it yet. So I'll probably be dropping that a uh, 10, 20 millimeters once I get the fit dialed in just right. But currently, it is feeling really, really good. I got a size large frame. Fits me like a glove. I was amazed at how well this thing fits. I've ridden it twice so far and the ride is really, really nice. Also got one of those little snug nuts on there. Keep things tensioned. Uh, for the tires, I went with XR2 Bond Traggers. Tubeless, of course. They're uh, 29 by 2.35. These small knobs here grip the trails where I ride really, really well. It's mostly smooth stuff, not too many rocks, so it's all good. And then the finishing touch was the muck-off valves. Those things are nice. They look good. And they work. And to round it off, got my trusty uh, egg beater pedals there. Been running those for several years. Have no problems. That's about it. Hope you guys enjoy the build. Go out and ride your bikes. Pop some wheelies. And if you need anything bike-related, Head on over to the Squeaky Wheel Bike Shop in Palmdale, California, or you can go on their website. I got a link down below, and you can buy some parts online. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button.